Everything you need to know is saved in a file on my desk up under your name. It explains all. If you're watching this, then it's too late. I'm sorry. I love you, Liz. Cold feet! It's a dead cert. There's a knotted bed sheet swinging outside his bedroom window as we speak. I'll stick 50 quid on it! <laughs> Five more minutes and I swear I'm out. Maybe he's got... He's had to be. Where's... Your No. You don't happen to have seen Victor anywhere, do you? I'm sure there's a rational... Don't explanation. even finish that sentence. The only acceptable explanation is if he's lying unconscious in a ditch. Don't and I hope wait. for his sake he is. I, I know you're worried, love. No. You turn. I'm not worried. I'm livid. I feel like an exhibit in a freak show. <sighs> what time is it? Nine-ish. Exactly. Half past. Right, that's it. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> when I got hitched to Caroline, she, she kept me waiting for an hour. Bride's prerogative. I'm the bride. This is so humiliating. Grace. Sorry. Grace! Look, stop, please! Grace! Look, I, I, I am so sorry! Save it, just let me pass. Please, I'm here now, that's the main thing, isn't it? You know, for an intelligent man, Victor, you say some really stupid things sometimes. I've been stood there like an idiot for ages. Do you honestly expect me to just smile and be grateful that you bothered to turn up? Well, there was something I had to do. Oh, well, this is something I've got to do. Hey, don't go, please. I didn't even ask for this. All oh, this, this fuss, this stupid bloody dress. I thought it was what you wanted. Well, you thought wrong. You should have said. I tried so many times and then your dad gets involved. And for the first time since William died, he had something to look forward to. And what about us? All I want is for us to be together. But just look what it's turned into. I don't even know half these people. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Hey, don't you say that. Why not? It's true. Well, I swear things are going to be different from now on. Everything is about you, Liz. I don't want everything to be about me. I just want things to be how they used to be. I just want a partnership. And we are. Oh, if it's too late. Well, it's not. Of course it's not. This is us, eh? We're meant to be together. Please. Well, I love you so much. I love you too, you arsehole. Oh, thank God for that! Get up there, son. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. If any persons present can reveal a just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. Then we'll begin. Do you, Victor Frankenstein, take Elizabeth Lavenza to be your wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. We love her, comfort her, Honour her and keep her in sickness and in health, for richer for poorer, for better for worse, in sadness and in joy, to cherish and continually bestow upon her your heart's deepest devotion, and forsaking all others, keep yourself onto her for as long as you both shall live. I will. Do you, Elizabeth Lavenza, take Victor Frankenstein to be your husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him?
with him, honour him and keep him, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, in sadness and in joy, to cherish and continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him, for as long as you both shall live.